How's it going? I've got the latest Going Gear EDC Club box. This is the premium edition, very first one for 2023. If you're into EDC stuff, knives, any of that stuff at all, this is a really, really great subscription. So let's pop up into the seal and see what we got this month. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future, and I'm back with another unboxing of the Going Gear EDC Club, one of my favorite subscriptions we have in the channel. This is the premium box. If you're not familiar with Going Gear, it's a really cool store that sells lots of cool EDC gadgets and knives and gear, obviously, all that other stuff. But they have a really great subscription too. It comes in two different flavors, a standard edition that's about 60 bucks a month, and the premium box, which is 200. We got the premium here. If you want to get the subscription for yourself, be sure to follow the link on the screen or down the description. But this is the very first one we've got for 2023 so we're gonna pop open the seal and see what we got inside of this thing they always put a lot of tape on these okay I think I've got this thing open so let's see what we have in this month's box we got some big old bubble wrap Ooh, knife one knife two it looks like we had a best tech last month too it looks like we've got uh, maybe a mid-range best tech this month cool a sticker, which is always great to see. Their stickers are shrinking. This is funny. I feel like they used to be bigger. They're getting smaller and smaller. But that's cool. And one of these little tiny guides. It's like a first aid guide. And of course, the no frills info sheet here. Let's see. So if you got that standard box, it looks like you're going to get the best tech knives and this little guide. We'll start looking at those. And if you get the premium edition, you get weed knives. It looks like the Smooth Sentinel. All right, cool. Well, let's get started on this. We'll kind of work our way up. From the bottom, uh, so from Ultimate Survival, we have a tiny first aid guide. Now I have one of their tiny survival guides, which is actually really cool, perfect for a bug out bag. Um, I keep mine, I keep a little kit in the back of my truck in an ammo tin with some survival stuff. So I kind of cram that in there, it takes up no space. Uh, but let's check this out. 51 illustrations, 110 life-saving first aid skills, emergency tips, all sorts of stuff. This has some QR codes on there too you can check out. So, all right, that sounds cool. Let's pop open our little thing here. It looks like we've got a little resealable Ziploc container if you want to keep it extra nice. It may be, I don't know if this is like waterproof paper or not. All right, so it does have like a little sleeve. No, it's got a little, little Fresnel magnifying glass. That's fun. I guess with something this small, you need to kind of get that away and see if you can actually read the text. Uh, we also have, looks like a link to their podcast. Kind of fun, an ad for a knife I guess they sell. But when you get these little guides, uh, what they have is kind of like a folding map like a really tiny thing, but look at all this stuff. So wealth of stuff, we've got life-saving priorities, rapid trauma assessment, a life-saving tool, all sorts of little things, front and back, tons and tons of info. So I will say on these, uh, the survival thing, I could see that being useful um, if you're actually out in the field and need to reference stuff. I feel like yanking this out, um, it's so tiny. I have to think this is stuff that you really want to be aware of beforehand because otherwise you got, you know, some terrible accident going on. You're trying to take your, your little lens and trying to read this stuff and figure it out or find your phone to scan codes and learn more. So uh, to me, this is more of like a reference guide that you want to check out occasionally. And you know, it's small, which is nice to keep in a kit, uh, but maybe not something while you got somebody, you know, laying on the ground bleeding out. You don't want to go hunting for this thing and use your magnifying glass and try to find stuff. I don't know. I do like these tiny guides. I like how stowable they are. They don't weigh anything. And they cram in some kits pretty good. So if you have like a first aid pouch, uh, I think this is a great reference to be able to throw in there. So, all right, so that is the first thing from the standard box this month. And next up we have the Best Tech Knives says the Slasher BG43B-1, uh, $65 value. By the way, the little survival guide was a $12 value, which is about what I've seen them go for online. So seems pretty fair. All right, so no frills, got a tiny bit of paperwork in here. Little best tech guide there. All right, looks like maybe we have some micarta. Oh, interesting. So you'll notice that this has that access lock style lock, uh, which has been really popular all of a sudden. I guess that was commonly found on Benchmade knives, uh, which made that one-handed opening and closing so nice. Uh, wow, check this out. It reminds me of the QSP Penguin a little bit, I guess because of that sheep's foot blade there but we have this nice crossbar style lock. Again, kind of like an axis lock. I don't know if it has a little Omega spring inside uh, like the Benchmades do, but a ton of different brands have their own take on this now. I've seen SOG do their XR lock. Uh, uh, there's a bunch of different brands of it. It's kind of hard to remember all of them, but let's see. Oh, it is smooth. Wow. Okay, that feels pretty nice. I like the stonewash finish on the blade here. 
D2 steel, super cool. Nice, uh, kind of a chunkier blade, which is good, a little bit of jimping on the back. Deep carry clip. Oh, it's a reversible deep carry clip, all right. My card feels good, really cool kind of design on the pivot. So we have some thicker stainless liners, a little backspacer there too, which is also, it almost feels like that's my card too. I don't know, maybe it's, that could be G10, I'm not sure. But I actually really like this thing. This is the first um, non-benchmade crossbar style lock that actually feels pretty good, almost feels equivalent to that. So let's see what we got here. Yep, that's just what they said. It's got a bar lock, provides a secure lock up, opening and closing, this knife of one hand is seamless. D2 steel sheep's foot blade. 3.125 inches in my carta. Man, yeah, this is kind of a surprise here. This is a really nice little EDC blade. That is uh, something that stands out to me about the standard box for going gear stuff. I don't think I've received a blade in it. Um, it's been like a throwaway blade yet. So some of the other subscriptions we get, uh, even if they have a knife of the month, a lot of times it's really hit or miss, especially with the boxes that throw in more value-minded blades. Now at 65 bucks, this is just a great mid-range blade. Uh, like I said, very similar to the pretty infamous QSP Penguin, except I think with kind of a better UI. Um, I, like, I like the grip on this, the choil, the micarta feels great. Uh, really, really nice knife here from Best Tech. I'll be honest, I actually like this. We got in the premium box last month um, a really high-end Best Tech. Uh, had some great organic design elements and everything, but wasn't totally my cup of tea. I actually like this better. I think I'm more likely to carry this. Uh, despite the materials not being as premium. Okay, that is a win. High five going gear, guys. So the Best Tech Knives Slasher, and that is the standard box. So we got a little tiny first aid guide and a really nice knife. Uh, so next up, we're gonna go on to the premium edition here, and we have the Weed Knives Smooth Sentinel. And I'm curious about this. Uh, Weed Knife is one of those companies, uh, with the exception of maybe the Banter, uh, which is pretty straightforward. Some of their knives can be kind of bonkers, have some really crazy design elements, super high-end materials, Silky, silky smooth, uh, kind of like their sister company, Civivi, which makes them uh, more affordable blades. Uh, but it looks like this has some great features here. A weight of just over two ounces. This thing is going to be light. Titanium handles, JG10. I like the sound of that. Stone wash blade, just about three inches. Oh, geez, and CPM 20 CV still. Okay, so let's check this out. I'm excited about it. We got a big box here. It sounds like the blade was smaller, but this is kind of a big box for that. Cool packaging. Let's see if we can, little friction box slider open. All right, so this is what I'm expecting. <laughs> Just to throw that out there. Again, they have some really kind of out there designs. We got a little uh, cleaning cloth, some silica beads, and a pouch. Packaging for days. So VV and Wee Knives are all about that packaging. Really nice kind of soft interior. Let's see what we're getting ourselves into. Okay. So this looks pretty straightforward and nice so far. Ooh. All right, so that's looking good. We get, looks like we have a titanium deep carry clip too. Frame lock. Yeah, that JG10 speaks to me. That's just kind of my vibe. Very, very um, slim and skinny, low profile. Let's see the action's like. We got a flipper. Ooh. Buttery, smooth, really deep stone wash, uh, not really reflective blade. Yeah, see, it's got that kind of traditional Wee Knives and Civivi, just silky smoothness. I think it is, it's definitely on bearings, but just, man, yeah, that feels pretty great. And it is so light, very thin. It's thin without being skinny, which I like. Some knives, there's kind of a movement to do these really, really skinny ones. And even me with small hands, uh, sometimes when it gets really skinny, it feels like you can't get enough grip or purchase on it. But man, this feels nice. So what this reminds me of a little bit, if you followed the channel for a while, um, we checked out Civivi's Terax, I think is the name of it, a while ago, and it has similar design elements. It has the JG10 um, and scales on both sides. I think they were stainless steel instead of the titanium here. But this is, man, it's a gentleman's knife. That titanium too. There's something about how titanium feels um, obviously just different. It feels like it transfers heat different than stainless steel. It definitely has just a different, I don't know what you call it, maybe density. I really like the blade too. No markings whatsoever, no branding besides the Wii Knives thing on the pivot here. Uh, normally not a giant uh, frame lock or liner lock guy as far as loving that locking system. I definitely prefer kind of the crossbar style lock that you see in this. Uh, but man, this frame lock is just right. Very easy one-handed open and close. 
gosh, I mean that that flipper just launches it out there too. So man, this thing's a beauty. Really, really dig that. Reversible deep carry clip, also that really deep kind of stone washed titanium. Wow. So normally I think if I saw a picture of this somewhere, I'm not sure if I'd immediately be like, oh, that's a knife for me, but man, in hand and everything, this thing feels fantastic. Wow. So again, excellent job. Uh, Going Gears EDC Club typically has just about the best knives of the month I've seen of any subscription out there. So super, super cool. So that is this month's box. So we have the Smooth Sentinel from Wee Knife. By the way, the code on that was Wee243-2. Lots of little serial numbers and stuff from uh, these <laughs> knives this month. Uh, but two really fantastic blades. And this little first aid guy, which I, you know, the jury's kind of out on this thing. I really like the survival version of this, but the first aid one, I don't know why I feel like that wouldn't be as useful as practice, but for some reason that's just where my brain is today. But really cool stuff as usual from Going Gear. So if you want to get the subscription for yourself, be sure to follow the link on the screen or down the description and save yourself some money. Uh, man, absolutely still one of my favorite subscriptions on the channel. Just speaks to my EDC habit. Really, really dig this one. So that is it for this unboxing. Be sure to like this video if you dug it and subscribe if you want to see more unboxings, more EDC, cool stuff like this. We'll see you next time.